So in this project, we're going to build a, a little application that shows you the key code and the code for any key on your keyboard. So if I come to the page here, it says press any key to get the key code. I'm going to hit L and it'll show me the actual key, which is L, the key code, which is 76 and the, the code, which is key L. If I hit A, if I hit one, we get 49 digit one. If I hit tab, we get tab nine is the key code. So, I mean, this is going to be really simple, but it can be useful if you need to get the code for something. Uh, I, I just want to show you if I search for JavaScript key codes, the first result here is, is the application that this is based off of. So if I hit a key, it gives me the code, the key code also gives you the, the dot which property, which is deprecated. And I also want to mention that key code. So this one right here is actually deprecated. So if we look at the MDN docs, you'll see that this is deprecated and it's recommended to use dot code, which we're also showing. And it says, you know, this property is useful when you want to handle keys based on their physical positions on an input device rather than the characters associated with those keys, common in games and stuff like that. All right. So. I mean, this key code does still work. If it doesn't, you know, if you're watching this in the future, then you can just simply get rid of this box and just display the code. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started with the HTML and CSS. So basically what we're going to do first is just create the three boxes. Um, we're just going to put it directly in the HTML later on. That'll be replaced with JavaScript because when we come to the page, we only want to see that one box. And then as soon as we hit a key, we'll see the three with the three values, the key, the key code and the code. So let's start here by just changing the title here to uh, we'll say, you know, we'll just say event key codes. And then let's see, we're going to have a wrapper div here with the ID of insert. And in here we're going to have some classes, some divs with the class of key, which is basically just the box, the border, the uh, background color and so on. So this will be, let's just say it's the a key that we hit. This will be dynamic later on. We'll, we'll add this with the JavaScript, but for now I'm just going to hard code the letter a and have a small tag here. And we'll just give this a label of event dot key because that's what it is on the event object. It's going to be the dot key value. And then under that div, we'll have another class of key. And this is going to be the key code, which for a is 65. So I'm just going to hard code that in there. And let's say this is the event dot key code. And then we'll have another class of key. And this is going to be the code, which in this case would be key a. And inside small tags here, we'll say event dot code and then we'll have one final div with the class of key. And this is just going to be like the welcome box. It'll say press any key to get the key code and code. Actually, we'll just say to get the key code. All right, so that should be it for the HTML. Pretty simple. Um, let's jump into the style sheet and this styling is not going to be too bad either. I just want to use a different font. So I'm going to say CSS question mark family and let's set that to MULI and we'll set that on the body here. MULI change the font. Also on the body, I'm going to add a background color of E1 three times. And let's set uh, we can get rid of the flex direction column and I just want to add a text align center here. So text align center. And then all we really need to style is the key class and then the small tags inside. So for key, let's give this a border. So the border will be one pixel solid and it'll be hexadecimal nine nine nine. And then I'm going to give it a slightly lighter background color of triple E. And then let's add a box shadow, just a very slight shadow. I'm going to do one uh, one pixel for both the horizontal and vertical offset. 
and three pixels for the blur and then for the color RGBA black 000 for red green blue and 0.1 for alpha so just a very slight shadow on the right and uh, bottom so let's set uh, I'm gonna set the display actually to an inline flex okay so they're gonna be side by side and then let's set align items to center and let's set the font size to be bigger I'm gonna set that to 20 pixels and let's set the padding of this of each one to 20 pixels and let's set the I'm actually gonna set the flex direction to column and then let's set the margin we'll break them apart a little bit so let's do 10 pixels margin and let's see what else do we want to do here let's set the font weight to bold so i'll go right here and say font weight set that to bold uh what else do we want to do here is that the correct font doesn't look like it no it's not so right here we should have an ampersand there we go and then let's set a min width here for each box as well to 150. All right, so now we'll do the small tags. Uh, actually, one more thing I want to do is position this relative because the small tags inside of the key class are going to be positioned absolute. So when you position something absolute in CSS, if you want to position it inside this container, then you would make that position relative. So let's take the key class and small tags inside of it and let's position that absolute. As soon as I do that, it's going to, you know, it's going to get put here, but I actually want to move it up here. So let's set the top value to a negative. So negative 25, 24 pixels, because I want to bring it out of that box and I'll set the left value to zero. But I do want it in the middle, so I'm going to set text align to center and also set the width to 100 percent. That'll put it in the middle. Let's add or let's change the color to 555. And I want it smaller, so let's set the font size to 14 pixels like that. And I think we should be good. Yeah, so that looks OK. So in the next video, we want to give this some functionality where we don't even show these three boxes until we actually hit a key. And then obviously, whatever key we hit, this data in here is going to be different. Okay, so now we want to add the JavaScript for this project. And before we do anything, I just want to add the event listener and show you how we get these actual properties like key, key code, and code. So let's, let's take the window, which is the top level object in the browser, and we're going to add an event listener onto that. And the event we want to listen for is a key down, which is a keyboard event. And we pass in a function as a second uh, second argument here and then in this function we can pass in an event object and then I just want to console log that event object to show you what it gives us so I'm going to open my console just reload here and if I hit the letter a or the key a you're gonna see I get a bunch of properties and what I want to show you is uh, for one the key or I'm sorry the code which is key A. So that value we want to get put in here. And then we also have, if we go down here a little more, we have the actual key, which is A, that's going to go in there. And then we should also have the key code, or sorry, the code. Now code is key A, where's the key code? Uh, here it is, right underneath. So key code is 65. Now, if I hit another key like Q, that's going to give me another. Whoops, I got to go up here and hit it. So here you can see I get the key of Q. The code is key Q and the key code is 81. So we want that stuff to be put in these boxes, which is going to be pretty easy. And then actually one more thing I want to show you. If I hit space, the actual key 
is so the code is space, but the actual key is just an empty string. So I just want to do a simple check to see if the key is equal to an empty string. If it is, then we'll go ahead and just put the word space in there because I don't want it to just be blank. So what we'll do is, first of all, bring in insert. So document dot get element by ID and we want to bring in the ID of insert. And let's get rid of that and we're going to take insert and say enter HTML because that's how we can insert HTML and make sure you use backticks here so that this is we can put dynamic values in here. Now I'm going to copy from index HTML the three divs with the class of key, not the last one with just the text, but these three here. I'm going to cut them, not copy them because we don't want those in there initially and save. And now you're only going to see this one box. So in this inner HTML value in this template literal, I'm going to paste this in. But I want to change uh, these. These are basically just hard coded this a right here. I want to change that to the key, which we can get from E dot key. Now, remember, this is going to be just an empty string if it's space. So what I'll do is just do a quick check. We'll say if E dot key is equal to just an empty string, then let's put out space else. Let's put out whatever the key is. So E dot key. And this is just a ternary. It's just a shorthand conditional. Whatever your testing goes here, which in our case, testing to see if E dot key equals an empty string. This is basically, you know, then. So if this then puts uh, put out space else. So this represents else then just whatever the key is. Okay, and then down here we have our key code. So let's say and this syntax is just, you know, a template literal and money sign and curly braces. As long as you're in back ticks and not quotes, then you can use this syntax. So we want to take the E object or the event object and let's say dot key code. Okay, now there's a line through it in VS code because it is deprecated, um, but it will still show up. It will still work. If you're watching this in the future and it doesn't work, then you can just get rid of this block if you want and just show the code. So for this last one here, let's say uh, E dot code. Actually, so, since we put event here, let's just change because this can be absolutely anything you want. We'll change this to event in that way. I don't know, just because we used event there doesn't really matter, but so event dot key and, you, and you, when you see other people's code, you might see E, you might see event, you might see EV. That's also pretty common. So now I'm going to save this. And if I go over here and I hit enter, you can see that the key I hit is enter. The key code is 13 and the code is enter. If I hit a, we're going to get a 65 key a. If I hit three, three fifty one digit three. OK, so it's working. If we hit space, we're going to see space here because of this check we did here. Otherwise, it would just be an empty string. So it would just be empty and we don't want that. OK, there's a, a back quote, caps lock shift. So any key you hit, it's going to give you the key code and the code. All right. So I know this is a really simple project, but it's it's nice to just get going. And it can also be useful if you need the code for something, if you're building a game or whatever it might be. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project.